Hi, I'm going to show you how to draw a principal ray diagram for a concave mirror. So a concave mirror looks something like this. And we can uh, define two points in space that are important. One is the center of that circle. If I was going to continue to draw it in a circle, it might be about here. And then the focal point will be right here. So here's center of curvature, and then here is our focal point. And then we're going to put the object, the source of light, somewhere around here. And then we're going to use principal rays to make predictions as to what the image will be. So I'm going to put the object person and I'm going to draw two principal rays from this. So uh, there is the F ray and the, and the P ray uh, that are easy to do, or relatively easy to do. So I draw my P ray parallel to this line. Okay, so I have a line here between the center and the focal point, and I draw a line parallel to that line. And call that the P ray. And so all parallel rays for a concave mirror will converge to the focal point. So this one does too. Okay. So then the second one will be the F ray, which goes through the focal point and comes out parallel. So it does the opposite. So through the focal point, one of the many rays that radiates off the top of the person's head will go through the focal point and then it comes out parallel. Okay. So something like that. So parallel to the line connecting the center and the focal point, and I get that. Okay, so where those rays converge is the location of the image, at least the top of the person's head. So we'll draw the person's head, and then we can extrapolate to the rest of the person's body, something like that. Okay, so what can we conclude from, uh, from this drawing? We can conclude that because the rays went there, that is a real image, not a virtual image. We can include, uh, conclude that it's bigger or magnified, Okay, because this is taller than this. And we can conclude that it is inverted because the, the image was on a different side of the line connecting the center and the, and the focal point. And we call that thing the image. So here's our object over here, our source of light, and here's what our, uh, what our image looks like. So we don't have a, a third line that's easy to draw. You certainly can try to use, uh, you know, some people will draw a third one to here and then obey the uh, law of reflection or something like that. But um, this, is, this is good enough um, to, for, you know, you have two rays, you can uh, triangulate where the, where the image is. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.